We're on Lego 4366 here. Today, today I'm reviewing Lego Star Wars 501st Legion Clone Troopers. It's for ages 7 and up, it has 285 pieces, and it cost $29.99, but I was able to get it at Walmart. It was on rollback for um, $24, so that's nice. Um, very nice, my grandma bought it for me. Um, it comes with four clone troopers, which is great, because, you know, um, a lot of people have been going crazy about these new Clone Wars sets. And they've been, like, selling out fast. And they, like, every time I've gone to Walmart, every time they come out, there's, like, never been, like, the entire wave of the Clone Wars sets. I think there's, like, three of them. Yeah, I think there's three, yeah. And, um, let me look. I can look at them back. And they either don't have any or they only have, like, one or two of the sets, of the different sets that they have. So... Yeah, it looks like they only have two Clone Wars sets. But they have this one from Revenge of the Sith that is also, um, sells, it's not always there. So these two Clone Wars sets with the clones and stuff, they always sell out fast and are hard to find. And, you know, originally I wasn't, um, I only just wanted one. A lot of people were buying multiple of them, like, to, for, um, army building. Originally I wasn't going to army build, but now I am because this set is so cool. It's so f it was a fun build, and I want more figures, so I'm probably going to get in that second, second set of it. Um, so yeah, comes with six figures. So six, so for um, six figures for like what a thirty dollar set is pretty nice. It was on rollback, rollback at Walmart for twenty four dollars, which is pretty cool, um, pretty nice. And so yeah, comes with six figures, which is cool. Three figures are the same, two, three of the clones are the same, two of the droids are the same, except for this one clone that is a jetpack clone, which is pretty cool. And they even gave them new faces, which is cool, because I never liked the Clone Wars, um, the old Clone Wars clone face, so that's pretty cool. Okay, comes so with one instruction booklet, one sticker sheet. Stickers r might look difficult, but they really weren't that difficult. Fun set, not a hard build at all. Um, you can also, like, apparently, um, it says play it in Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. So that's a new video game that's coming out next year. So apparently, okay, so here's all the pieces it comes with. I believe it has, like, a code in here where you can, like, get the code and you type it in. And you can unlock it in the game, I guess. I don't know how that's going to work. See, here's an advertisement for it. It says 2020, but it got delayed because of COVID and stuff. So, um, yeah, I don't know how that's going to work. Maybe this code is in the box. Like, I don't know. It doesn't really matter because all the codes got linked online anyway. So, there you go. Here's the sticker sheet. Comes with two numbered bags and um, a couple smaller, like three smaller bags. So here's your numbered bags right here, and here's three of the smaller bags. So yeah. And now on to the actual set itself. You know, here are the extra pieces it comes with, which is very nice. I wish it came with some extra guns. But since there's already two guns on the speeder, and each all six figures have guns, I think it's fine. But yeah, here are the extra pieces, which is pretty nice. Extra arms for the droids and whatnot. Um, extra of these to shoot out, so that's cool. And you know, I really don't like all of these like flick, flick guns that they have that shoot out the studs, but I think they actually incorporated it well into the set, so I'm not going to complain. So yeah, there's that. That little instruction booklet. Again, you, you build it in two parts. So you build the um, speeder first and then you build the walker next. So, yeah. Pretty cool. So it's very nice. And, like, the speeder, like, I didn't think I was going to maybe, I didn't know if I was going to keep the um, actual build itself together. But I am now. It would be cool for mocks, but I didn't really, like, want to make a mock, but now I do. So, yeah. 
I don't know if I will though. So yeah, it's a really great build. It's a, here's a really great walker, but if I get a second set, I'm not gonna keep, I'm gonna use the pieces because it comes with such great pieces like um, this piece right here and they have it in gray too right here, which are kind of rare and hard to find and I always need these pieces. So I'm just gonna take it apart, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna keep it together. It'd be great to make a um, Mandalorian. Um, the um, Clone Wars um, Mandalore battle mock, so that'd be cool. Okay, and here you have the droids. They haven't changed these figures at all, so it's the same figures we've been getting for like, what, 20 years? So yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, there you go. You got the jetpack one. And this is a new jetpack, so that's cool. At least I believe it is. Let me go get Django and see if and compare. I mean, not Django, Boba. Okay, they are not new. This is not a new jetpack, but the one in the Mandalorian um, battle pack is um, a different jetpack, so. It's the same, just a different color. Let me see if I can show an example. Maybe they have it in this thing of all the sets they have. Like this set right here. Oh, there's not a jetpack in that set. Oh, well, I guess, you know, what was the set that had a jetpack? I think maybe an Iron Man set, I guess. I can't remember. Anyway, I know that there's a new jetpack piece, but they didn't use it in this um, set, so. There's that. Okay. So here you have the speeder. Very nice. Very cool. It's very cool how they incorporated this piece because I didn't even know that this piece could like fit on there through that through the hole. So that's pretty cool. And of course you can shoot out by pressing here. You can shoot out these. So that's cool. Very nice. As you can see the stickers right here and here and whatnot. And of course you can put a clone on. This is just very well made, very well designed. It's a fun set. And you know, I thought it was pricey, a pricey set, but actually for six figures it's not. But, so, but I would still get it on rollback if you can, if I were you. And there, and look, look, they can, he can even hold both handles. So, that's impressive, because a lot of times they can't hold both. Oh, is it not going to let me hold both? We'll see. Okay, he can hold both. Nice. So, here you go. He's steering it now. Very cool. And I like how they incorporated this, like, um, candle wick or stick, whatever you want to call it, um, onto the gun to make it look like it's a cage or, um, like, cool gun that they have. So yeah, here are the figures. As I said, they're exactly the same. Here's the back. And here we have the walker. You can also shoot this part out. It's a very fun set. I'm going to put a figure on it. Oops, I dropped that. Have you already vacuumed? Oh. And, um, We have this, and put that in. Okay, here's his seat, it's very cool. It's a very nice, very well designed walker. I've had a few of these over the years, and I, this is my favorite, so I like it. Um, very well designed how they did the feet, very nice. Even reminds me of a few mocks that people made. Very cool, very nice. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's gonna be great for a battle. They actually did this, um, did this exact walker like seven years ago and it came with Yoda and one of these clones. So it's pretty cool that they did it another one and updated it. And look, he even comes with some binoculars and it has these two little clips here that you can put some of their weapons or something. And you have this antenna and that, and it's very cool. 
And you have the stickers here. And you even have this, which you can turn around. It's very nice. So yeah, you have that. So yeah, it's a great set, great figures. Um, I recommend you buy it, and it would actually be great for mocks with these clones for like the Clone Wars or even the Jedi Temple Siege. So yeah, it's great. I, I love it. It's an even better set than I thought it would be. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.